going on guys it's just great and welcome back to another video <laughs> so in today's video i'm trying to show you how to make a two player pong game so without any further talk let's get started 298 frozen patties later so firstly we have to open scratch so i've opened scratch editor and now i'll be first naming my project which will be pong game p o n g g e m e pong game now as you can see i'm ready with my assets also which is a ball a paddle and a really really small line i don't think i can see it oh first thing is to code the ball the ball code will be like it will be moving forever so for moving it forever we have to use move 10 steps like if i click then it moves before that we have to put in a forever loop from that it will be moving now you can see wow it's moving what 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 was that i don't want that for not having that issue you can be like if on edge bounce now it will be bouncing on its own edge which is really really cool thing like as you can see and but it's moving in one direction i've changed the direction to 45 degrees but if i put in 90 it will be moving in one direction only for doing that just you have to do like point in direction it will be a 45 degree direction now you can see it's moving in all way so now the ball code is done yeah boy that's uh, the paddle code so for the paddle code just you have to do like when when you like click and set a position where it will be forever and the position is in my case the position is this and it will be forever really following the mouse x so for doing that it will be setting x to the mouse x okay set x to mouse x yeah boy it's working set x to mouse x go to this position okay it's working but there is one thing the ball is in dodging with that for that you have to go in the ball code so for the ball code just you have to do like one green flag is correct it will be forever if it is touching the paddle you understand the logic here. if it is touching the paddle then it can it will be rotating a direction to not 15 degrees 15 degrees won't be then you can pick random because it his is what he want to do from 1 to 200 from 10 to 200 okay and let's get started go it's working really really good so just this small line code is left after that we are done so now we have to create a without score the game isn't fun at all so first you have to create a variable name as score i have created it before only first i will be setting my variable to 0 because i have created a lot much score okay now set it to 0 and if it is touching parallel then it will be changing score by 5 okay and if it is stitching this black line then it will be decreasing the score okay so now i'll be doing like when green flag is clicked forever if it is stitching the sprite one then it will be decreasing the score by 2 set score by minus 2 and i'll be positioning my sprite first now let's start the game okay it's really fun my score is increasing also oh this isn't increasing sorry my guys forever if touching paddle i'll be making one more if it is touching the paddle change score by 5 change score 
score by 5 on same here change will be by minus 2 in this score variable and now I'll be checking my game I'll be just duplicating this and putting it right over here and right over here let's see the game okay my score was 20 it's a really cool game you can see you can play with your friends families and whatever you want so hope you like this video share this video with your friends and please comment your project links in the description in the next video i'll be seeing them and you can be also in that video so bye bye enjoy the day